friends Paula here welcome back to my channel today I am coming with a Saturday morning makes video slash Christmas in July and if there's one thing I am it's consistent when I find something I like I make a bunch of it and I had some of these in my stash from previous years and I said I'm just gonna have a ball with it. Saturday Morning Makes is a collaboration of um, artists, crafters, whatever your hobby love is, jump in on the hashtag Satmorn Makes. It was created by Jill Norwood and I'll put a link to her channel uh, Greenwood Girl cards in the description box. I say it over and over again, always check the description box. I also always have closed caption enabled. Um, the camera is not too bad when I'm right on top of it, but if I'm not right on top of either my phone when I'm recording with that or this camera, hearing can get tough. And unfortunately, this camera has no mic uh, accessory. There's no wireless one. There's no one that you can hook to it. I'm just out of luck with that. Um, so I always keep make sure the captions are enabled. To be honest, I use them 95% of the time when I'm watching videos uh, so that I can... I don't always hear very well, so I keep the captions enabled so I can read what's being said. So I just wanted to say that real quick. And if you are a creator of either paper crafts, uh, scrapbooking, cards, stamping, if you do needlework, crochet, needlepoint, knitting, if you decorate cookies, if you paint, if you color, whatever it is, that's how big this has gotten. Jump into the hashtag, share it. You don't have to have a video. If you have Instagram, share it there. It's a wonderful way to see all this beautiful artwork and all these uh, creators. It's amazing. Okay, so let's get started. I made wands and I had a blast with making them. Okay, are you ready for this? This paper, I jumped into the hot tub time machine and went to the way back, way back for this puppy. This is the die cuts with the view Christmas stack. I tried to see if there was a year anywhere on here, and there isn't, but I am telling you, I have had this probably 10 years, maybe 15 years, and look how much paper is still in here. So I busted this puppy out and said, use your stash, girl, use your stash. So that's what I did. I made pinwheels. With this cute, it has stockings. It's like Santa's uh, toy bag. Dolls, Christmas cookies, gingerbreads, teddy bears, Jack in the box. So I made pinwheels with that. I also made a pinwheel. This one is just candy canes and ornaments. And I also made a tag with the candy cane and ornament. This I used my die cut from AliExpress last year and made this one. The mouse was AliExpress and I made it oh, probably three years ago. Um, maybe four. I think it might have been Christmas of 18 that I started, I made several of these, and I had so many, I just, 
I keep them, and I said, I'm going to make that. I'm going to put it on my wand. I made this one just a couple of weeks ago. Look how cute he is. He has a little bite taken out of him, and he's winking. I don't know how happy I'd be with a chunk of me missing, but he's very cute. Part two, I made um, probably, I think it was Christmas of 18. This guy, I think I did him last year. And this is the Lily of the Valley little tags. I printed up. They're digital. And um, I made with just crepe streamers and I made several more so I could put them in my stash because I used some of them and I just hot glued my pinwheel and just layered it up and then I made my bow and I do use my um, Zetter's bow at all I do not make these freehand it is made with my little um, Zutter's bow at all. And I'll put a card up. I have a little tutorial how I make them. I just love making bows. This I printed up and cut out. I, Like I said, most of my cuts are from Silhouette. I'm trying to get better at using my die cuts because I have so many dies. But... Um, this is a silhouette. This pinwheel is silhouette. The doily is a silhouette cut. I made this bow and I used my Nouveau. Oh, I see a little hot glue string. I hate those things. My Nouveau crystal in the corner here. This is Glitterific that I just smeared on the edges. Um, this one has both the white glit glitter and the red here. And I did this on the edge of the little crepe florette. Boy, sometimes my memory gets shot and I can't even remember what things are called. Um, I'm pretty sure that they call these little puppies florets. I don't even know. And I don't know where to find it, if that's what these are. But I did the edges and for the ribbon it's just the very thin streamer I guess you could call it I don't know it is ribbon probably between Michaels and Hobby Lobby and then I get Aileen's stiff and quick and I put it in I can't find my cup I have a little cup. I Oh, here it is. Here's my filthy little cup. I stuff the ribbon in there, spray the stiff and quick, and then I use my trusty little dowel. And I use hot glue, as you can see, it's kind of gummed up there, and to hold it, twirl it around, let it dry, and you have little curly cues. I put it on this one. I put I put red and white on this one. And I put this little bow here. I trimmed and this is all from really reasonable ribbon bow club. And I just fishtail my pieces and add it. I did it here too. And this is a candy cane from Hobby Lobby oh, probably two years ago. This I got in a swap. Unfortunately, I don't remember who or which swap. 
and this is more re really reasonable ribbon. This is um, Lily of the Valley download, Gingerbread Kisses, Christmas Wishes. And I just, this was a scrap from here and I fishtailed it and kind of laid it up. And I um, used my pop dots and my foam tape just for a little dimension on the tag. I just punched a hole and put the ribbon. But like I said, if I'm anything, I'm consistent. When I get into a groove, I kind of just have fun with it and I like how cute they are and you can if you're doing baked goods you can add this to the packaging you could put it in a gift bag you could put it on a, a present it's just cute little things and so I'm having fun with Christmas in July right now and I'm going to probably put together um, a little video of my process of if not making a tag making a wand or one of these things but I wanted to jump in because it's been a while because I'm doing just so many things between um, my garden and uh, stuff is starting to come in and I'm of course trying to harvest it and preserve it today I had to do some tomatoes because they're splitting on me so I, I don't want them to go bad so I had to get them going and so and it's summer and you're just doing summer things but I did want to take time um, to jump in on Saturday morning makes and Christmas in July and say hello and hope that you if you're a crafter will jump in um, if you're new I hope you'd consider subscribing I do um, my crafting garden tours I do cooking baking I have flavor of the day videos every Wednesday that's a shorty short almost never are they more than 15 minutes sometimes they might go to 20 but it, those are quickies, uh, tips of uh, easy cooking um, dinner idea. Um, I'm coming up on a thousand subscribers, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. And I hope you guys will come back and be ready for that because it's going to be your choice of a uh, a couple of surprises as well as as some of my canned goods my preserves that I've made and shared so I thank you for watching again and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and go create something wonderful bye bye now